everyone. I am making a card today and I'm going to be making this card. And I'm going to start with a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of craft cardstock from Paper Accents, which I'm going to lightly score down the middle so that I can fold it into a four and a quarter inch by five and a half inch card, which is a standard sized card. I'm just using my bone folder uh, to get a good crease. And this is going to be the base of my card. Now I am getting a piece of watercolor paper and this coffee cup stamp from Hero Arts. And I'm going to stamp it in archival ink in coffee on the watercolor paper. So I'm making sure I ink up my stamp really well and I'm going to be very, very firm with uh, my pressure when I put it on the watercolor paper to make sure I get good contact with my image. And I'm going to stamp it a couple times and then cut it out. And I'm going to cut off that steam at the top um, so that I have just the cup. And now that I have my cups, I am going to start coloring them in because um, I want to give them time to dry. And I'm going to be using Luminarts Twinkling H2Os and a water brush to do this. And the reason why I have three cups there is because I'm making a bunch of cards all at one time. I am going to be participating in Jade from Jaded Studios on YouTube in her card fundraiser for Claudia who is 66MS Claudia on YouTube. Um, and this is to raise money for Claudia and her children who, um, she has recently lost her husband suddenly to pneumonia. And uh, with him, they lost their income. So a lot of the scrappers in the YouTube community are getting together um, to help her out with that. So um, that's what these cards are for. and. I am using the pale porcelain, which is a nice soft gray, to color in the side of the cup to give it sort of an added dimension and shading. And now I'm going to use cinnamon stick, which is a reddish brown, to color in the um, little cardboard hand warmer and coffee sleeve. And what I do is I started heavy on one side and I'm um, then going to take up some of the color and move it so that it is mostly colored on the same side as I did the shading with the gray and then also on the bottom a little bit. So I'm just going to fade the side into the bottom. And that way it'll have more dimension and it'll give the cup more cup shape. And that's what I'm looking for. And you know, when you're working with uh, these are watercolors and I'm using an aqua brush and so, you know, put on some color, take off a little, put on some more color. You can work in layers um, to get exactly the look you want. And now I have more watercolor paper and I'm going to be using this stamp from Inka Dinka Do, which says let's do, and then there's a bunch of choices, coffee, dinner, or drinks, and I'm going to check coffee. Um, and I'm stamping it on the same watercolor paper just so that it'll match the cups. It doesn't really need to be stamped on watercolor paper because I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, and just like the cups, I'm stamping a couple um, so I can make a few cards at once. And I use the same archival ink from Ranger in the coffee brown color. And these are my Singer Professional Series of Razor Edge Heavy Duty Scissors. And they work great for uh, watercolor paper because it's a little bit thicker and so a thicker scissor helps or a heavier duty scissor. And I'm just cutting right to the line um, with all my cutting today. I'm not leaving a white edge um, on any of these images. And I'm just going to cut the rest of them out. Now I'm going to work on the card base while everything else dries. What I'm doing is I'm re-inking the steam from the coffee cup and I'm going to be stamping it directly on the craft card stock. And you can see that my image is kind of just half on and half off, and that's fine. All I need is a steam. So now I'm taking a couple of pieces of pattern paper from the Cosmo Cricut Material Girl mini deck, 
and I'm putting adhesive on the back. And I'm going to stick these to the bottom of my card bases so that there's a little pop of color. And I cut it a little bit wider because um, I wasn't paying attention, so I'm just going to flip it over and trim uh, the excess off of the cards. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, using those same scissors. I really like these scissors a lot, actually. I also have the detail scissors that are the same, the Singer Professional Series Razor Edge detail scissors, and those are also great. I've been really happy with these scissors. I have a really nice deal on them at Joann's. So now I'm taking my corner chomper and I'm using a larger of the two corner rounders to round all the corners of my cards. And I'm taking a piece of Coordination's cardstock and putting it in my Fisker's scalloped border punch. And that's going to give me a little scalloped border that I'm going to add uh, to the top of my card, or rather to the top of the patterned paper on my card, just for an added little bit of fun and wind. So you can see I've cut them pretty skinny, and now I'm going to use um, just tacky tape to stick it down. It doesn't need tacky tape. Tacky tape is awfully strong, but um, it's the only tape I have that was thin enough for this little um, scalloped edge. I could also have used a liquid glue, like the quick dry tacky adhesive. So now I'm lining up my scallop. Um, and putting it down. And I cut more scallop than I needed so I could be sure to center it exactly the way that I wanted it on the card. And I'm just once again trimming the excess from the card with my scissors. And here you can see I have the detail scissors this time. So now it's time to start assembling all my different cards. And you can see I have two different types of pattern paper there. The other pattern paper at the top is also from the Material Girl mini deck, and then the scalloped edge on that card is also Coordination's cardstock. I've been really liking Coordination's cardstock lately. Um, I like that it's textured on one side and smooth on the other, and um, I like the colors a lot. Um, I've been having some fun with it. So now I've just stuck those down with dimensionals, and the reason I put them in the upper right corner is because I wanted them to look like signs hanging in a coffee shop, and so that's why I chose that placement. And now I'm just adding more dimensionals to the coffee cups, which are dry now, and what I'm going to do is I am going to stick them on the card so that the steam that I stamped directly on the card base matches up with the steam from the coffee cups so that it looks like the steam is rising out of the cup. And that way I didn't have to try and cut out little spindly steam um, <clears throat> threads, um, but it still has the steam and looks great. So here is the green one. You can see where I've checked coffee in the upper right corner. And here is the red one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.